We are talking Tide here on Mark Rogers TV each and every Wednesday night with uh, Stephen M. Smith of Touchdown Alabama. You can also join him on his show the way it is, Fox 97.9 weekdays, 2 to 4 Central Time. Stephen, for the first time in quite some time, going back to the last week of August, we don't have a game to talk about specifically concerning the Crimson Tide. The Auburn Tigers took care of that. Auburn Tigers took care of that. I mean, it's a very weird situation, but there's still football to be, to be played. I mean, there's, it's conference championship week. Uh, our beloved college football playoff committee uh, bringing up the new rankings on Tuesday and some innings in those rankings. That's the Crimson Tide dropped dropped from one to five. So still hope. I mean, if you are – if you are trying to jump off the ledge, don't jump off the ledge. There is still hope. There is still a flicker of light at the tunnel here. So Nick Saban is certainly going to the mat for his football team, believes that they are deserving, that they've done enough over the course of 12 games, only losing to one against what he considers to be, and most of us, one of the best teams in the country and also on the road in losing 26-14 to 14 to Auburn. So what do you make out of uh, the, the the ball coach? They're politicking for his team to, to get a spot. That doesn't seem like something Nick Saban would typically do. I'm talking about one heck of a lobbyist job by Nick Saban. He's not going to run for mayor or president or governor, but what a heck of a job, man. Up here crying, he up here making it seem real like, these guys deserve a chance at the college football playoff. And honestly, when you look at what, what all Alabama has been through with the injuries, with getting hit left and right, and particularly at the linebacker position, I can see uh, where Saban is coming from. But at the same time, uh, it's at the hands of the college football playoff committee. And uh, Alabama, it needed to win against Auburn, needed to win to keep things in order. Did not win, but a blessing in disguise that it didn't win because now you can get some players back healthy and should chaos continue to ensue, which is what Alabama would love to have happen and what it desires to have happen, more playoff, more chaos ensues and you have a chance to somehow get yourself back in the driver's seat. So when I think of Nick Saban's politicking, one heck of a lobbyist, I would not expect that from him or sophomore linebacker Mac Wilson, who has been very adamant on social media. If you, Mark, or our listeners out there have not seen this, Mac Wilson has put tweet after tweet up on Twitter saying, we're going to be in here, you No know, college football playoff, have mercy on us, you No know, consider us committee. Like Mac Wilson is putting his neck out here on social media, uh, politicking the tie or for the tie to be in the playoff. But as we know, Mark, some scenarios have to fall into place if Big Al, Nick Saban, and this Crimson Tide program wants to return to being in the top four. 